Just do it. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. You're very welcome to the Brendan Option coming to you courtesy of the Macalata Productions. I'm Father Brendan Kilcoyne. If you like our work, would you hit the subscribe button at no cost whatever to you? Uh, or if you wish to be fleeced, you could you could uh, approach PayPal or Patreon. A comment in the comment box, perhaps. Above all, a place in your prayers. Just do it! Hmm. I am, of course, about to discuss the recent conversion of Shia LaBeouf, well-known actor and personality, who has become a Catholic. Apparently, to no small extent as the result of his, uh, his immersion in preparation for the role of Padre Pio in a new film, St. Pius of Petrolcina. And he just did it. Now, this has been talked about quite a bit. I think Matt Frad's been very good on it. Robert Barnes been good on it. I'd more about that in a minute. Yeah, a lot of people have had good stuff to say, and and some cautionary stuff. Okay, let's not let's not cackle too triumphantly. Let's not revel too much in this. Somebody converts like that, you need to give it time, and make sure that these, this is of the spirit. Yeah, make make, make sure that it's genuine and deep. No offense to Mister LaBeouf. But we just need to be like St. Paul, remember, wasn't exactly welcomed with open arms when he rocked up in Damascus, walking into walls. I mean, you know, people need to be clear that you're not perhaps taking the proverbial. Yeah, I don't think he is. I don't think he is. I, I, I was genuinely interested in this spiritual awakening which seems to have been achieved partly as a result of hitting rock bottom to use the awful cliche is at a very low point in his life now you may say oh well that's a bit suspect isn't it i mean he hits rock bottom he's in trouble he's he's he's, his reputation is is you know at an all-time low and um he gets religion Hardly in the milieu in which that guy moves. Hardly in modern Western secular society. Hardly in the milieu that that has big dollars to spend on films. Getting religion. No, no, I wouldn't be too quick now to go down that road because that's actually more complicated than you might think. That's not as attractive an explanation as you might think. There There were a lot of ways... Of, of turning that around. He could have started doing community service. He could have, he could have suddenly discovered a tremendous uh, need to go and help in, in, in Yemen or, or Somalia or Ethiopia or, or any of the places which are on the cross at any one time. No. Nope. But he chooses to become a Catholic. And I mean... If you you know if you'll forgive the phrase, he's come out in a pretty brash way. I mean, I don't like this phrase, but very much as a traditional Catholic. All right, I don't trust qualifiers of Catholic. You know, you're a Catholic or you're not a Catholic. Okay, I, I'm not gone. I'm not even gone on Roman Catholic. I'm not even gone. I, I'm not gone on this. Oh, I'm a traditional Catholic. You know. Catholics are traditional. That's a tautology. I'm a traditional Catholic. Shut up about being a traditional Catholic. You're Catholic. But for the purposes of the discussion, yeah. That's been his route. Now, he's friendly with Mel Gibson, which is hardly a a, a pinko lefty liberal influence. Okay. But he had this big, long interview with Robert Byrne, who clearly was uncomfortable, made feel uncomfortable by this emphasis on the traditional thing, and yet he wasn't sucking up to him. He wasn't just trying to get everyone to like him. He was trying to explain himself. I felt he was trying to explain himself. 
I mean, I, I, I know maybe you think I'm going on too much about this. But even if the guy falls off the wagon in five years' time, and which of us doesn't know we'll do that, right? Presumption is a sin. Remember that. This is remarkable what he what he's talking about, what has happened in his life, and and where has it come? It has come through. All right, we've had a discussion. Nobody's quite clear on whether you can call the buff a method actor or not. You know, Stanis, Stanislavski, adept, if you like, like Daniel Day Lewis or whatever, who'd stay in character for months before before filming and. And that kind of thing. But certainly, I mean, this this extremely thorough research he was doing, the immersion into the Capuchin life uh, for months, uh, all this kind of thing, does smack to some extent, I would have thought, of met the method approach. And I'm fascinated by this method acting, this Stanislavski approach, because of its not simply inhabiting a role, but because one is encouraged to... As, assume the role right into one's marrow and blood and bones to be to, to, to literally turn oneself into a work of art for the sake of art now that's not far from religion the theatre is never far from religion remember that please do not lazily confuse the theatre with um, insincerity, although the very word sincere without wax, the actors in the Greek theatre, the Roman theatre wore masks. Uh, the, 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 very, the very term insincerity refers to the theatre, but it's a huge mistake to, to associate it with a lightweight approach. With These, these actors, play, they take a huge risk in the commitment they make to a part. Because if you make a commitment that profound, it can change you. And clearly, something changed them. Now, there are trailers out for the film. I haven't seen the film. I've seen a few of the trailers and I enjoyed them hugely. I enjoyed the exchange with the woman. Um, I really liked, I thought he captured something. I've read a few biographies of Padre Pio. I thought he captured something of Padre Pio where he's going, say Christ is Lord, say it, say Christ is Lord. And there was that quality to Padre Pio. There was that quality. Now, where he, uh, as, as one commentator, John, uh, John Henry Weston has said, where he let maybe an F-bomb, where he's saying, get the out. I don't think Padre Pio actually used to talk like that. I'm not sure. <laughs> but my understanding is that he was no joke when he was in a tather. <laughs> what I'm getting at is that he was depicting this blood and bone saint, this real man, this real saint. A man of tremendous devotion and divine passion. And it infected him. It infected him like a virus and has taken them over. I find that interesting. I have to confess, all right, I have tremendous respect for Robert Barron, but compared to him, I found Barron bland. But then maybe that's the interviewer's job. And I also felt that he was wiggling a little bit, not literally, um, in embarrassment at this emphasis on on the the Latin mass and the emphasis on the traditional devotions I I think that's hugely interesting I think at the very least it's a tremendous challenge to those of us who celebrate the Novus Ordo to become ever more reverent ever more respectful to inhabit ever more profoundly the, the person of Jesus Christ. The, the priest is in persona Christi. Yeah. So I want to thank Sh Shia LaBeouf. I want to thank him for what he has given us. I think he's sincere. I'm making no judgment on what may come after. I don't think he's a saint by the sound of it. I think he might be on the way as of very recently. We'll see what happens. As with all of us. As with all of us.
we'll see what happens. But in the meantime, it is clear to me that the, the, the Holy Ghost is, is alive and well and ranging and doing mighty deeds out there in a world which is congratulating itself on having abandoned God. So, interesting. Very interesting times. Just do it. In the name of the Father, of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.